Hey guys, welcome back to City Skylines. When we last left off, we were building the Venice of Mars. It's not as <clears throat> admittedly impressive as it sounds, considering that right now very few people want to move in there. It's just too isolated. So, we're going to try to turn that around and we'll see if we can. Right, like I'm probably going to need to make it less isolated. Probably bring in more uh, uh, public transportation options because the ferry isn't quite cutting it. And despite being a primarily um, canal side town, should I call it that? I guess eventually I have to relent and connect it to the outside world. Like one idea I have that is going to help every other neighborhood down the line is that I'm going to bring in the trains right I'm going to lay down some more even more railroad tracks and perhaps bring the trains to Venice eventually so that's a worthwhile option I mean should not affect the train traffic that much considering it's going to be so remote I might even start a new branch you know, that's completely separate, a new branch of railroads that's completely separate from uh, from the rest of the city that way, I uh, wouldn't really be overusing it so this is what we have right now just a measly 178 people living there so there you go for the second is really really loud I don't know why the volume keeps resetting itself okay, so 50 alright now, mm, oh, it's that far away. Hmm. So I'm thinking, right? So what if we were to purchase these few towns? We could bring it in from here, or maybe just from here. But we could purchase this too, right? Man, it's gonna sing our subway. Yeah, look at that. Shoot. Well, it's uh, hopefully it's not by too much, right? Uh, you only become a problem much later on in the future. Okay, so we can start our uh, train tracks from here, right? And uh, it's not going to affect this much, I hope. So I'm thinking like I could have a road leading out like this. Okay, um, I'm going to lay down the train tracks first and then we'll see. So Starting from perhaps here Going around this crater mm, Doesn't really have to actually There's one really long train track. Okay, that works. So, I really don't want this to be a day end, but then again... Okay, tell you what, I'm going to loop this all around here. It's going to be rather expensive. So, this is going to be an alternate route. And 
And since this place is notorious for its wetlands, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to build this on the bridge. So that it won't be flooded, you know, like stilts. Like this. And eventually, I can bring it back down. One full circle. More rails to work with. So now to connect all these research outposts with the rails, they are not so isolated anymore. I guess happens when uh, hmm, happens when civilization gets developed. How can I do this? You know what I could do? I could have an underground road, right? Um, I, I was hoping that, hoping I wouldn't have to knock down any buildings. Hmm. But if that's not possible, then I guess we just have to use this. Knock down as few roads as possible. I have to take the big one. Both then. Okay, so this is going to be for both passengers and cargo. So, passengers will have an easier time here, and cargo, well, they have to travel a bit longer. For this area, forget, I can't forget to hook them up to the water as I did before. Alright, <laughs> try not to forget again, Brian. Alright, uh, all right, I'm just gonna connect them up like so and move on to the next area. I think these guys can share one of each. Then, coming from you know, it's very convenient that we have this data processing center. No one's using those roads there, so guess what's going to happen? It 
to allow some space for expansion. 335 degrees. And come on. There. Okay, so same arrangement as before. We're going to hook up the passenger trains closer and industry further. I think we need I think we need more space. Two more. Like that. There's going to be some overlap. Steep, but <laughs> if it helps to get the train going, can't complain. Oh, that's what I'm afraid of. There. Okay, so that's it for this part. We'll hook them up and then move on. Already the trains are eating into my budget but I'm hoping that this is going to turn things around Okay So, and then we come to Venice Hmm I'm thinking the train could be completely separate. I might have industries in some corner of, uh, of Venice. So it wouldn't be a good idea for me to hook up the cargo here. I could do it temporarily, but okay. So how can we do this? We'll put it here I wonder how tall do our, bri our bridges have to be Not too tall, right? What if I were to... Mm, maybe halfway? Would that allow me to rise enough? Yes can I build a bridge like that? Yes, good. That would do. So, I'm thinking train station could be here. At least for the passengers. I'll have to Shall I say work on the cargo next time? Let's see. I wonder what kind of industry should this place have? I mean, we are lacking in generic industry, so I, I don't mind having some of that, but just not close to the water. I could choose to put it way outside. 
to maybe that's what I'm thinking right now in which case uh, I guess having the cargo hub here would be fine The train line here is complicated enough. So, okay, let me see. It'll take far too long, right, for the trains here to reach here. So, we could make this a completely new line altogether. That could work. One really distant stop, all right. The main thing here is the cargo and hmm. I guess I could hmm. thinking right now. The wait is over. It's finally here. Friday I mean, night chili bowling the and Andy's is going bowling alley. Every Friday night, right. anyone who buys at least two games of bowling gets a free bowl of chili. So we don't wait. Book a lane now. Here. Due to recent incidents, the chili will only be distributed and at the end of your visit. That way you are can enjoy it wherever here, you want. There in a park, at home, them, or on a construction site. In the meantime, you'll we'll have all the fun that bowling area. can provide. So come on back and be reminded that you're not actually that good at bowling. Andy's Bowling Alley. Welcome back to Mars Official Radio. Due to the dynamic and irregular environment in schools, I was dissatisfied working as a teacher. Instead, I went back to the university and studied astrophysics. Physics is the science of matter, its motion, and its behavior in time and space. Astrophysics is the science of things like dark matter, a form of matter that neither emits nor reflects electromagnetic radiation. We don't know if it really exists, but it helps us explain the irregular movements of galaxies. Mm, it obviously didn't get rid of all irregularities. <laughs> After a little talk, it's time for a little music. That's regular. One really weird road, okay. So the cargo hub could be here. And it's like it's gonna shadow the train tracks up here. Like that. It was really 
interesting to think about it. So hopefully this will connect this place to the outside world. Eventually I might have the industry here all around the train tracks. And if it gets big enough, I could connect another say and another cargo train here, cargo train station here, and then it wouldn't affect this area at all. I'm not going to allow intercity trains at least in these areas but I am going to allow them here so they can switch to our own trains more people will be coming over. Crap, we're getting a flood. Hmm. <sighs> we're facing the same problems as Venice of the past. <laughs> it's a flooding. We could have pumping services, that's one way to get rid of that. But for now, since it hasn't reached us yet, I'm going to let it go for now. Okay, uh, once this is all built up, I'm going to have another layer before I throw in some public buildings over there. I'm really concerned about this actually. Why is it flooding here and not elsewhere? Uh, It's not helping. Yeah, look at that. Mm, hasn't increased that much actually. Man, I think it's going to reach us. Where's the pumping service thing? Another way I can get rid of extra water is by actually using it, right? <laughs> to actually try to drain it. Like to actually have this here. So that's one possibility. I mean, it's by now it's completely clean. If there's any pollution, it will have been right here. And by the time we are far enough, right, by the time we are far enough, I don't see any pollution. Mm. Actually, it's quite clean even here. So by the time we reach here, there'll be 
not much pollution left. I think that's just water, it's not pollution. So I think it's quite safe for drinking. Oh no, it's starting to flood here as well. Hmm. This this square here is really quite big. We will subdivide it, maybe down the middle and pumping services. I think for a city like this, it's quite necessary. flooding as much. I'll just keep this here just in case. And now city amenities. Hmm. As usual, the double block. This place is big enough, right? Thousand something, okay. This is way long overdue. Alright, we'll give them their old school. Both of them. And the usual stuff. For now, they get a playground and a park. Right next to the cemetery, and I'm just gonna put this here. Hmm. Put the ah yes, the fire station. We go 
here, perhaps. And the police station. Right there. Yeah, that should clamp down on crime. What else? Okay. That should do it for now. Okay, trash. So for trash. As it just so happens. put this here but in the future I could expand this into an industrial sector for now the trash goes here Customers, although again, not a lot. I only increase the number of fares because a lot of this will have to travel here like that. Should running out of power again. Well, as always, this I'll bring up to ninety percent. What does that give us? Nice. The great dam provides. let intercity trains come here I'm, I'm just worried that they are going to come from there but I'm hoping that they are going to come from there although it's I don't know man it's still quite far I just feel that this is further but I'm just gonna see so let them go let them come and then I'll see how is it When this grows big enough, 
I think I could add more residentials here. I could split this island in half, right? And then I could build a new neighborhood here and connect them by ferry. I could even have ferry stops here and here, right, to help with transport. Uh, quite a fair number of people I guess as this place grows bigger more people are going to come their own university now I guess let's go to place it here wonder if I can put something here. I'm sure I'm sure this place is worthy of something. Right? Boat museum. <laughs> Can't put that there can I? I guess they'll be out by the lake. Uh, what can I do? Hmm. Fountain of life in there. Sounds good to me. Uh, nah, not yet. I see a lot of people walking here. So I'm thinking another maybe three more layers of residentials and then this area is going to be a new part, new area. I could have more commercials here. Here, here, and here. Look at them walking here. Isn't that great? That's so awesome. That is so awesome, my gosh. Okay, anyway, enough gawking there. We'll fix this up and bring more people in.
We are the law. Accountant. No. The law accounting. I know what you're thinking. Are we lawyers? Are we accountants? Well, it's a complicated question, probably requiring the services of a lawyer and an accountant. Is that us? Well, what do you think? Seems to me that there's a lot of you out there who might need the use of the law accounting. But that's not legal advice. That's life advice. In fact, we're legally barred from providing legal advice. The law accounting. Officially unlicensed since 2005. This is Mars official radio with Pan Am Public Service Escalon. We have a soundtrack just right for the blue sunset light. Now that we're residential light. here, I think I could put down some unique buildings like the fountain. Hmm. Here then, it's right smack in the middle. And not to forget, we could start putting these guys in. So, I could stick it here. It's just right smack in the middle. And childcare. Hmm. Here. I'm thinking, I think I can begin building the industry here, right, provide some jobs because as it is right now, there's not a lot of jobs here. So, this here is going to be the first sector. Enough educated workers. Well, that's going to change soon, hopefully.
I'm thinking I could try implementing the ferry system right now like around the midpoints here and then and we'll see how it goes so right here for example At least I at least I know I can put my ferry terminals here. It's just a matter of how thinking like this. And I could have roads going in and out here. Like this and like that. And of course have some shops around for the travelers. I don't know what kind of shops I can put here, but I can try. <laughs> Alright. Like that. Okay, so we can have a rudimentary ferry system developing here. We'll see how it goes. So, no. Uh, okay, so a new line going there, coming around there, and then looping back here. Oh wait, we're gonna need our own ferry depot here as well. Can I put it here? The opposite. I wonder if it affects things if I put it on the opposite end like this. Okay, that was a close call. So just a couple of ships, three. The other one must be coming from down there, crap. Okay, well I don't think there's gonna be a lot of people who are coming over anyway, right? I mean because as it is right now, right, um it's transporting people around the island but not to anywhere here, here or here. So right now I, I, I doubt that there's gonna be any demand. I could drop it down to one or two ships even. Like there's like <laughs> two here and one there. Good enough. At least someone's using it. I'm thinking of forming a loop here. Hmm. 
but maybe this will do. They'll have to look around here or something. I might have to overhaul this area. But then again, I could keep the industry small, and then the rest of it could be offices. Hello? Hello? Uh-huh, yes. Okay. Ah, I see no problem. It's okay. Thank you. Okay, bye. It's not a lot of people traveling here. like from other cities so I might actually turn off intercity uh, intercity trains again There's two persons there there's like nine there that's pretty impressive for something for such a small area I guess Well, I guess I'll work on this place first. Hmm. Get a quick one. So, here. Come on, then. Okay, and coming from here as well. And here. Probably going to need crosswalk here somewhere in the middle I think I think this would be perfect can't be here can't be there so there of life and death <laughs> right I'm thinking right um, we have commercial here all around here it's like the tiniest building I've ever seen super pharmacy like the tiniest pharmacy I've ever seen. Why do you need five floors? <laughs> Six floors, five floors. Six if counting the roof. Like, what kind of pharmacy is this? Okay, hopefully, with more people moving in, the demand for the ferry system will improve. Anyway, I was thinking this could be a row of office, and if I need to, I'll drive a, a road through them if that's the demand. But otherwise, there. Seems that the pumping system wasn't being used that much. I was uh, I was worried that it's going to be constantly being used, but that turns out not to be the case. Still. Considering, considering the circumstances, I'd rather have it there than not.
I'm even thinking of linking this there rather than here but I mean looking at this I think the train system is fine now for the most part so I think it's a good point oh god death wave come on oh come on how many fire stations do we need Okay, tell you what, we'll have another here. Happy? Okay, looks like it's, uh, the water level is rising here. One, two, three. So it rose by half, by half a block. You know, from solid line to solid line, I think. Or did it drop? I think it rose, right? I mean, if you reach here, then what does you have it feel more lines like there. to drive a cloud? What does it feel like to steer a river? What does it smell like to smell a mountain? At Jubilee, we're committed to letting you do the impossible. And now, we've succeeded in letting you drive the undrivable. The Jubilee Dementia. The car engineers said shouldn't be made. Test drive one today. Yeah, and experience what scientists for decades claimed was beyond the Might realm of safe this, so. driving. Jubilee. Be reasonable or be fast. Okay, so I'm thinking. This I is the could, Mars official radio. I'm Panem I could dig the canal Unbiased here right now. Unbiased information is essential to proper development. Right. Still, people find it hard to understand that skewed information corrupts their conclusions. And in context I'll leave of social a full, importance, full like in the Mars zoning. project, information has to be so, undistorted and addressed without preconceptions. From with scientifically based here, information, then. the most difficult arguments can be settled without issue. And that's my ambition with this radio show. To report yeah. indisputable facts in between good songs. Like this one, for instance. But I'm worried. I, I should probably try to put some straight roads. I mean, not roads. Uh, straight canals. Just in case I need them. You know. Right, I could just put it here. In case for some reason I can't build a road over curved canals, I'm just gonna put that there. And the rest of this can be curved, no questions asked. Like that. Wonder if that's gonna affect the, the ferry route. For now, not really, I think. They're not gonna take a shortcut there, right? I mean, it's been cut off. Maybe when the water fills in, maybe it might happen, but for now, not really. Look at the look at the land value. Sheesh. This is perfect. Should I have a metro here? Oh. Okay, since when did I remove one vehicle? Right. That might help. Come on, move your ass. <sighs> well, at least we are using this thing now.
not really doing a whole lot. I mean, I guess it's a temporary problem, so they can't really pump much now, can they? But I mean, if uh, if they are helping to accelerate it, then it's all good. Okay, demand is rising. Great. I think I should redo this. Like um, this layout is for this length, and it has shortened. So I'm gonna redo it. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. So right here. I guess it makes sense for this too. But it's just here. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm not gonna count. It's gonna take too long. So I'm just gonna take the middle, like that. This can be suburban, and that should be it. Now, this city is expanding really fast, right? I think one school is no longer sufficient, so I'm gonna have one more right here, maybe even another. Maybe even here. Everything here is built on water, come on let me. <sighs> well, maybe later. It's flooding again. It's blocking traffic. Why does it have to block traffic like that? Clearly not enough space, so I'm gonna have a third school right there. Man, it's really flooding. Why does it flood sometimes, but not other times? So weird. I think it's been more than an hour. Okay, well, I gotta stop. I've got uh, I've got work coming up soon anyway. It's been awesome developing this. Uh, we've achieved a lot. So I'm just gonna take a picture and we can uh, we can uh, get out of here. Mm. Like this for now. 
Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.